hello my divine kings and queens i'm back to do another video and today's message what we're going to be going over is i want to tell y'all um about a dream i had right and i don't know why i had this dream in the middle of nowhere and i didn't plan on doing this video today but i felt like i couldn't sit on it and wait so the dream that i was having um i'm in this boat with other people right i'm in this boat i'm by myself it's like a little cruise boat and they're taking us to they're taking us to this like secluded island or what have you and in the midst of me getting to this secluded island there's this big huge anaconda i have to say anaconda right but this thing was bigger than the anaconda this thing was it was huge it was so scary looking it literally could have wrapped around the boat and crushed us and killed us if it wanted to but that didn't happen and I was just looking and I was like oh my god what this snake gonna do it went in circle and went around us and went on this secluded island so we didn't get a, a chance to get to the island it went to this secluded island and when it opened up its mouth it spit out three eggs three big eggs so I want y'all to pay attention to that because now there's another instance that happened um, when I woke up that day, because that was that night, when I woke up that day, my parents went off somewhere. Normally, I don't answer the phone when they gone. I have my own cell phone. People don't even, people that's close to us that try to get in contact with us know not to call the house phone anyway. So, this particular time, I'm being led to go pick up the phone. And when I pick up the phone, there's um, this pastor that get on and says, there is a jealous spirit that was trying to go against your finances, that was trying to go against your success and everything that God had in store for you. But God is about to take uh, this snake, God is about to take his hand around the neck of this snake and make them spit back up everything that they thought they took away from you, everything that they thought that they de deprived you of, everything they thought that they stole from you. And God is going to orchestrate things where um, you start getting these blessings back towards the end of the year Mind you Then I tell y'all I just had a dream about a snake and it bared and it spit out uh, three eggs from its mouth Then and then for me to go ahead and hear that message about that man saying that there's a jealous spirit that was going against my finances But God is about to take the snake Let me tell you something there are some people who put their mouth on you two ways. The first way, going out here and defaming your character. No just cause, no just reason, but misery, love, company, right? These people ain't got no life. They mentally imbalanced. And people about to start realizing that. Because a hater can't conceal that for too long. When you consistently talking bad on a person, people seeing this person going about their business, about their money. A lot of y'all not even paying attention to these people. Half of y'all don't even know these people still running their mouth about you. Still got your name in their mouth. But this is what they doing, right? And then the other way is verbally cursing you. They're verbally cursing you. Every day, if a person wake up every day and say, I, I hope this person just stay broke the rest of their life. I hope they never have a, a, a job. I hope they never get back stable. I hope this, I hope that. Every day they get up and they saying that, don't y'all know that that's a, a verbal way to curse someone? Let me tell y'all something. That's what these people was doing, baby. They put their mouth on you. Put their mouth on you and said what you was never going to be. Said what you would never accomplish. They put their mouth on you and now they want to be a part of the success that God is bringing your way. Man, back, man tell these people back, back, give you 50 feet. Tell these people back, back, give you 50 feet. Let me tell you something, for me to dream that dream about that snake um, birthing out three eggs, I'm feeling like it's about three people who was involved in this foolery. It's either three people who was involved in this foolery, it happened about three times, maybe it happened about three months, three days, or three years ago. But it was some, it's something in threes. Take it, so you take it how it resonates. And then for that man to confirm that it's a jealous spirit, so it is, there are people, baby, who are going trying to go against you. There are people who don't want to see you make it. There are people who don't want to see you out here bouncing back from the very situations that they put you in. You got some real jealous, envious, evil 
mentally imbalanced people. Yes, they do exist in this world. I told y'all, just like good exists, there's evil that exists. You need not think for one second that life is just about a fairy tale and skipping off to the pot of gold and it's all about, uh-uh, it's not like that. It is not like that. Let me tell you something. For me to dream, that dream, that dream scared me so bad. I tell y'all sometimes when it's dreams like that, I have to wake up and I have to pray and I don't ever end up going back to sleep. My sleep patterns have been off. I'm trying to tell you something. This happened in threes. Three times they ran their mouth about you to three people or three people were involved. Or the timeline could be it happened three days, three months, three years ago. However it happened, these people put their mouth on you and now they see that you don't bounce back from everything that was meant to destroy you and now they want to be a part of your success. But let me tell you something, you need to tell these people back back and give you 50 feet, baby. You wasn't with me shooting in the gym. You didn't even want to give me no money to get a gym membership. So what you mean? What you mean? Some of y'all, y'all was begging people, begging people because you a visionary. You feel me what I'm saying? God protected you in this circle. You was in the midst of this circle. In the middle of this circle, you had took time to properly grow your grass, build your home, had you a nice little car out. You had a nice little, you know what I'm saying? Nice little cushion. You was in a good place. When these people came in your life, they destroyed everything. They destroyed everything. And they didn't have no remorse, no, 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 no sense of, of guilt or no shame while they were doing it. Because the whole time their whole plan was to not, was to see you not have that no more. Was to see you be in a place of um, feeling like these people wanted you to stay down. They wanted you to stay down. They wanted you to be down. They wanted you to feel down. They wanted you down and out. That was their sole purpose. That was their mission. Which is why they showed, they were so relentless. Right? Let me tell you something. Y'all was begging people. See, in the midst of you trying to hold on to them, you trying to hold on to them, you getting down, you, you getting down, you begging these people. Look, I may not have it right now, but I'm going to have it. I promise you, I promise you. Don't you understand these people did not care what you was going to have? Their whole thing was to destroy it and not see you have it. They didn't want to see you have it. It was never that you couldn't go out here and do it or that you wasn't no go-getter. You wasn't about your money. They didn't want you to be in that position. So the second that God told you to back back, let them walk. They want to walk let them walk but understand i got something for them that's as soon as they step out this circle and just as sure these people stepped out this circle they stepped in some crap and some mess let me tell you something a hard head make a soft butt these people would not stop as soon as they got up in this circle and thought they were skipping off to their new beginning they were skipping off into some mess skipping off into some failures skipping off into some delays and then what happened was they started seeing that everything that they put you through started happening, coming back right back into their life or happening back to them in some type of shape, uh, shape, way or fashion. And this is what pushed these people to have no choice. And because it happened down to a T, exactly what they did to you. Only they know what they did to you and only God truly know what, what they did to you. It's some things you still don't know to this day. But let me tell you something they know. And they know how it's coming back to them was the same way they dished it out to you. And so they sitting back, my God, and they turning and looking back at you. You ain't fretting. You ain't down and out. Baby, you had no choice because you were so down and out. You had no strength to try to run behind these people and get them to come back in your circle. They left. You was done. Now you had to try to go ahead and get your stuff back situated. But in the midst of you doing that, you were so weak. You what you had because the house was burnt down. The grass was messed up. You isolated you isolated yourself in this little tent that you had. Everybody could pass by. They see you not coming out. You're not coming out this tent. You too shame. You too embarrassed. You're not coming out this tent. 
Meanwhile, in between time, you don't even know that God been dealing with these people. These people watching, you ain't had no choice but to sit, turn back and watch what's happening in your life. Because they know what's happening in theirs was the same thing they dished out to you. And let me tell you something, word of mouth travel. Just as much as they was running their mouth about you, same people who they was running your mouth about you to, they was watching you, going back and relaying messages. Now these people sitting back, mm, watching you. Jealous as I don't know what. Envious as I don't know what. Mad as I don't know what. Because it's one thing to not have things work up in your life, but these people so doggone evil, they probably wouldn't even care as long as they saw you still struggling and miserable. Because misery love company. But let me tell you something. I said the devil is a lie. He came up, up, came, came up in that doggone circle and said, nah, enough is enough. How long are you going to sit in this tent? Man, come up out this tent and hold your head up high and let's keep on walking. Come about this tent and come on and show these people what I got, what I got in store for you. Come on about this tent, you ain't alone. Come on about this tent, you got a friend in me. Come on about this tent, God kept pushing y'all. Depression, let me tell you something. Depression is so strong, I can't even begin to tell y'all how bad it was for me. People don't even understand it. Which is why when other people tell me about and y'all tell me what y'all are going through, I sometimes I feel so bad that y'all in that phase of your life because I know it took it was nothing but God that got me up out that phase. I didn't want to keep on going on living like that. And like I said, the very peace that I prayed to God for, I say, man, you want me to step up in my up in my prayer. I talk to God just like that. I keep telling y'all. I talk to God like a regular person. You want me to step up in this blessing. I need peace. I don't have it here. I don't have it in my home. I don't have it in my community. Every person that I'm so scared to open up to people. And people I open up to, I can only pray that they write by me. Pray that they're not trying to take advantage of me. Pray that they're not judging me. I'm paranoid all the time. I'm in my head all the time because of what happened to me. I just want peace. God said, you want peace? Come up out that tent. Come on up out that tent. You're not alone. Come on up out that tent and hold your head up high. Come on up out that tent and stop playing with me. I'm not going to let you go out like this. A lot of y'all, piece by piece, you started uh, putting the, the, the pieces of the puzzle of your life back together. It wasn't easy. But you got that grass right. You got your porch. Now you're sitting on your porch. You got things stable now. And word of mouth then got back to these very same people who did you dirty. Some way, somehow... They trying to get back to you and creep up and slither their way. They snake behind, slither their way up in the crack, up in the crevice to try to be a part of your success. Because misery love company, they ain't coming. They coming to get a piece of the pie, but they ain't coming because they really, they genuinely do not. Let me tell you something. They because they coming back because they genuinely care for you. They coming back, they want to mess it up again. They ain't learned their lesson. They will never learn their lesson. This is who they are. When a person show you who they are, baby, you got to believe them. And at some point in time, you got to, what, what I'm telling you to tell them, back, back, give me 50 feet. JC, back me up. GPR, you with me. You already know what to do. If any of these messages resonate with you, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And tell a friend to tell a, to tell a friend to join the JC gang. Reach one, teach one. We ride together. We slide together. JC gang for life. These people tried to put on the forefront. They tried to put it out for everybody to see. How much of a fool you were. How crazy you were. How deranged you were. They got a sense of fulfillment by knocking you down and getting others to knock you down. And getting others to jump on the bandwagon with them and not like you and hate you and talk about you. It did something for these people because of how evil they are. Because I don't know nobody in their right mind to get fulfillment out of wanting to see others down. And wanting others to be down and not have nobody be their friend. Because they out here defaming your character. They ain't right in the head. It ain't nothing you can do to help them. You did all that you could, and look at what happened.